My name's Deborah, and a few years ago my husband Charles and I retired to Panama. We became Hubilados Abroad. Thanks for joining us. Hey friends and family, I am sitting in Panama City and I'm waiting for tomorrow's flight to Miami where I'm meeting up with Charles and we're going to start our 10-day cruise of the Caribbean. I think we're hitting nine or ten islands and there's going to be scuba and snorkeling and I was tasked with bringing all of the GoPro equipment and everything to film because we think we might get to see some great clear waters which is something we didn't have every day in our Bocas trip. The other thing I wanted to go ahead and get an intro for is just a quick short uh, kind of detailing what's been happening to me the last two years. A lot of people have said I'm looking super thin and, and that's a great compliment and I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully I'm looking super strong because in October of 2022 I started writing uh, a lot every day and I knew I'd need something to balance out the writing. And so what I started doing was walking and it was great. It actually was a stress reliever. Um, I couldn't go far in the beginning, but every day I just kept doing the same thing and trying to make it a habit. And within a couple weeks, I was up to half a mile comfortably in the humidity. And within a month or two, I noticed that I was dropping a pound or two here and there. And I was at my heaviest when I got to Panama. And so it was nice just to lose a couple more pounds. And then I started being able to walk a mile and then a mile and a half and two miles. So after about a year in October, 2023, this, this just this past October, I had lost 85 pounds. And about June or July, picked it up and started running. I got a hold of my friend Lisa and we uh, came up with a plan that was perfect for me and my particular health issues and I started attempting to run. I am to the point now where I can comfortably run a mile without even preparing for it. So if someone said pick up and run a mile, I, I can do that. And that might be the best I can do. Uh, I may try to push it to two miles so that I can finish out the training for the mini sprint triathlon that I'm going to try to do. But between the kayaking, the stand-up paddleboard, the walking, the much healthier eating, and all the other activities that me and Anita and Liz Mary do, including just a ton of walking. My weight loss journey is mostly complete. I'm now in the stage of firming up because um, at, at, at my age, I'm in my mid 50s. So I need the weight lifting to stave off osteoporosis. Um, plus it just makes me feel good and it gives me some definition. Now at my current weight, I'm only six pounds over what I was when I got out of the Navy in 1995 and I was at my fittest when I was in the Navy. I tried to be very healthy when I was doing everything because I wanted to be mindful that I am an older person now. The weight loss was a very wonderful side effect but ultimately I'd rather not be seen as skinny. I'd rather be seen as strong and so lifting weights now uh, working with a TRX because I can do that on my porch and I do a lot of isometrics and I have a kettlebell. Uh, definitely not a gym rat. I prefer the ocean and that's where I get most of my exercise from. I will do road work. Lisa is very proud of me. She is a marathoner and I knew when I started practicing and trying to learn how to run, which is something I've never been able to do well, I knew that I would never go the route she did. She is a born runner. She loves it. It is her jam. Um, I just wanted to be able to do it. That way when she visits, I could join her maybe on a short run or something. But more than that, I just wanted to prove I could do it. Plus, I wanted to train 
for a mini or a sprint triathlon. It's where you do just a little portion of the swimming, just a little portion of the biking, and just a, a small portion of the running, but you put it all together. And, and I'm excited about that. It'll, it'll be next year and I'll let you guys know if I complete it or succeed. I'll probably be so incredibly stinking happy I won't be able to not post that I completed it. But um, yeah, it's, it's a slow goal and it gives me something to work for. So here's some before and after pictures when I first got to Panama versus what I look like now. And <laughs> I'm going to throw a video online that I swore would never see the light of day. But it was me at my heaviest here in Panama when we first got here attempting to run on the beach. And it was, oh, when I say I looked like a rhinoceros uh, that had been hobbled at the knees, oh, I'm not lying. And my running style's not much better than that now, but I can do it, I enjoy it, and I have learned a, a little better mechanics. And dropping the weight has helped a lot. But before anybody tells me, oh, I can't run, well, you, you may not be able to. Some of us are just not natural runners. But the walking is how I lost 90% um, of the weight. And so walking and just making consciously good decisions. Charles has also lost weight and we are enjoying our combined and shared activities so much more now that we're healthier. And hopefully this is a good habit we've developed that lasts into our uh, elder years because we, we don't want to lose our mobility. Enjoy.